Hi everyone, Simple Mom here. Hope everyone's doing well. And I kind of just wanted to come talk to you guys um, this morning. Um, I had one of my insurers come in that I haven't seen her in a while. And um, she goes to me, wow, she was like, you look so different. Um, she was like, what, what diet are you on? And I said to her, I'm in no diet. I just count my calories. Um, and it feels good. You know, to say, finally, I'm not in no diet. After all these years of trying all these different diets and and different things to try to lose weight, to finally just be focused on one thing and working. It's like, wow, it feels good, guys. Um, so just a little something for you guys to think, you know, if you're starting to be on this journey or thinking, hmm, how should I start this? It looks impossible. Um, I, my highest weight, I was 310 on my highest, highest weight. 288 when I started the journey with my fitness pal, and now I'm 209. So I actually lost one more pound. Um, so, and exercising, you have to exercise. So my biggest thing is portion control. You have to watch what you put in your mouth and how much you put in your mouth. Um, and that's basically all. There's not no huge science behind it. You don't have to starve yourself. Um, just basically, you have to count your calories. It's super important how much you give your body opposed to how much you actually your body burns. And everyone's different um, depending on your size and your metabolism and how old you are. Um, so I would say, you know, anyone who wants to start this journey, who's thinking about starting, who's already started but hasn't seen no results, give it a try. Um, I did, and I said before, I've done Weight Watchers, I've done carbs, free diets, the Atkins diet, I've done the only fruit diet, um, and it works for a little bit, but then your body starts freaking out, and it's like I, you know, it goes on that that mode where I just want to eat everything inside because you have to deprive yourself um, from something that you usually have um, all the time. Um, and, you know, it's it's a constant battle that we go through, especially, you know, and I'll speak for myself, um, always being a heavy girl my entire life. Um, to be this person that I have become today um, is amazing, you know, as you get to know your body, um, what works and what doesn't. And tracking for me is the best thing. Um, count your calories, you know. No one said that you can't have that piece of chocolate or you can't have that plate of rice and beans um, or that slice of pizza, you know, or that piece of lasagna. Um, that's not the case. Um, you're able to. You just have to make sure that you portion control it. And that is so important to learn how to measure um, because that's going to be your key to your success. Um, and also you have to exercise. Um, at the beginning of my journey, I just did cardio. Um, and then about six months ago, I definitely um, have involved weight training into my circuit. And I absolutely love it. Um, it helps you stay toned. Um, I don't have time for that surgery and having saggy skin um and i just don't want to put my body through that i mean my body has been through enough um me carrying all this extra weight for so many years to also you know go through a major surgery and i'm knocking not knocking no one who's been there and doing surgery and all that but this is for me you know what works for me and what i wouldn't want to put myself through um and that's my best advice that I can give, you know, you guys. Count your calories. Exercise. Um, and if you, you know, you're starting to this new to exercising, do it twice a week and then bump it up to three times a week. You want to at least do it five times a week. Um, and burn at least 500 calories every time you work out. Um, give your body, you know, that time. Give yourself that time that you need. Half hour, 45 minutes, an hour. Um just for you to dedicate to your body, um, to take care of you. You only get one body, one soul. You gotta definitely take care of it. And that's my biggest, you know, my biggest pet peeve. Um, one body, one soul. You know, you definitely gotta take care of it. You only get one chance. You know, there's not no redos. You know, once it's done, it's done. So this is our chance. We're still living. You know, we're able to exercise. We're able to live right. You know, do it. Take that, you know, take the chance. You know, dare yourself to be like, okay, I'm gonna do this for me and do it because it's definitely worth it. 
you know and i won't take up you guys no no more of your time i am at work but i just want to just take a minute to just you know tell you guys if you want to start the journey start it do it um it's only for your benefit you you are the only one that rips the benefit of this amazing journey and don't see it as something awful you know you have to embrace it um, and this is why I always say counting calories is the best thing because you are able to still eat what you want as long as you stay within your calories intake. Um, the only one thing that I do not agree with is drinking soda. Soda is not good for you and the juices are also not good for you. They have sugars that you really don't need and the soda has a whole bunch of chemicals. Water, your water, 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 and I can't say it enough, drink water, you know substitute all those nasty drinks and when you start cutting calories you're gonna want to save your calories for food uh, because water is just fine in your wine of course uh, but you know it works so please believe me it works god bless you guys hope everyone's doing well just want to come take a minute and just talk to you guys about that topic it's it's been itching me so there it is hope everyone have a blessed day and we'll see you guys soon bye